is Anne and I'm the owner and lead baby wearing consultant here at Mother Rucker based in Worthing in the UK. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a stretchy wrap to carry your newborn baby. Now you don't have to use a Mother Rucker branded stretchy wrap, you can use any two-way stretchy wrap in order to do this carry that I'm going to show you. To know whether or not you have a two-way stretchy, here's a very simple test you can do. Take your stretchy wrap and simply try and pull it in two different directions. If it stretches, in two directions, then you know it's a two-way stretchy wrap. However, if you have a one-way stretchy wrap, do not fear, you can still do this carry, you can still use this video, but you might need to do a little bit of tweaking at the end. You start with your middle marker, which with my wraps is my logo, and that goes over your chest and use your chin to pin it in place. Unless you've got big boobs like me, in which case it will just stay there, but yeah. Use your chin just in case. So with your chin, Pinning the fabric in place, you take the top hem of one side, doesn't matter which one, and pin it, bring it round behind your back to the other hand, and then that's coming up and over your shoulder, okay? So you can see I've made a nice flat pass going diagonal over my back. The reason we do it like that, and you don't do it like this, is because when you do this, it ends up twisted and bunched. And we don't want it twisted and bunched. I mean, yes, your baby is new and light and lovely, but they're only gonna get bigger and they're only gonna get heavier. So you need to make sure that your passes are nice and flat over your back, okay? Top hem of one side, doesn't matter which one, round behind your back, up and over the opposite shoulder. Then we do the same with the other side. So leading with that top hem, that way you know you're not gonna be twisted. Bring it round, up and over your shoulder. We are now going to take both your vertical passes and they are gonna go straight down through this horizontal. Once you're there, you're gonna get one in each hand and you're just gonna cross them over. Take them round behind your back and then tie in a single knot for now. Now we need to adjust the slack in your stretchy. What we want is for when our babies are on our chest is that they end up here. We want their arms up nice and high. We want their knees up nice and high. We want their bum down nice and low. So with that, we've got to make sure that their knees are in line with our nipples just under our breast or chest tissue. So right now, if I was to pull on these, and it's quite tight, but it's too big. And if I pull all the slack through, it's massive, massive. To adjust this to the right size, I'm simply gonna start at my knot, bring my hands up the sides at the diagonals here, and I'm just gonna pull backwards until my thumbs are in line with my nips and my stretch is starting just under my breast tissue. That's my maximum stretch, and that's how my stretch starts. Where your stretch starts is where your baby's knees are gonna end up. Once you're happy with that, you can now tighten up that single knot and finish it off with another one to turn it into a lovely double knot. Next, we need to get your baby into the stretchy. You're going to start with your baby in a nice high shoulder carry like this. We want their arms over your shoulder. We want to keep this elbow up nice and high so they can't roll off your shoulder. And then with your hand under their bum, their legs will automatically curl up. What we don't want is this. Our baby's head is uncontrolled, meaning it's probably gonna be flopping backwards quite scarily. They're gonna be pushing themselves away from you. We've squished their spine straight, so their legs are dangling and they're really, really floppy. They don't feel stable, so we're gonna to want to use two hands to hold them, which means we've run out of hands to put them in our sling. With your baby in our lovely high carrying position, we're gonna pop them inside. You start with the opposite side to the shoulder your baby is on. So you come underneath, you catch the nearest foot of your baby and tuck the sling into their knee pit. Support the bum, support the head, and then you're gonna swivel forwards, get them on your other shoulder and then stand up. Then you're gonna come under the side you can see, catch their foot and pop it in the knee. Once you're there, you're gonna support the bum, support the head and gently slide baby down your chest, bringing them central until they are in that nice snug position I showed you earlier. Make sure their arms are inside 
the vertical passes and then we can sort out their legs. So this one is in a really good position. So that's in the knee pit and that foot is level with the bum. So that is great. We're happy with that side. This side, unfortunately, my baby's leg has slipped through. So because this is cupping their hip, I want it cupping their knee instead. To fix that, I'm gonna hook my thumb in here, lift the lower part of the leg and pull this strap wide so it sits in the knee pit and then gently encourage my baby's hip to rotate down. Some babies, when they're very, very fresh, they might not be comfortable having their knees this wide. If that's your baby, then when you slide them down, you'll find that their knees want to stick together. Their feet will be tucked together and their knees will be stuck together as well. Now that's absolutely fine. Their bums won't stick out that far. It's only because my baby isn't real. And this is absolutely fine. As long as that knee is still higher than the bum, it's absolutely fine for them to keep their feet together and their knees together. That's not a problem. This is a good time to check whether your baby's at the right height as well. So when they're curled up this much, well, you should also be able to kiss the top of their head. If you can't, take them out and adjust your sling. Right, spreading our passes. You're gonna spread the underside first and you can feel which that is. If I lift baby's bum here, you can see one of my passes is going underneath the other one. So I'm gonna do my underpass first and I'm gonna bring that all the way over baby's bum to the other knee and then tuck it under the other side to trap it there. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. The whole thing coming over to baby's other knee. I need to clear my baby's airways. To clear the airways, my baby's looking this way. I'm gonna slide this hand under my shoulder to catch the fabric next to baby's face, pull it back underneath itself and then spread it back out over my shoulder. I'm making sure that this horizontal pass is still up at baby's neck, that the second pass is meeting it. If my baby likes having their head tucked in, then I will tuck their head in if they're awake or they're asleep. Or if they're awake or if they really hate it, then you can of course flip the other shoulder as well and have a double shoulder flip. Not all babies like having their heads covered. It's why a lot of people think their baby hates the sling when they don't, they just don't like having their head covered. They don't have to have their head covered. Last step to secure all of this in place, you come underneath the whole thing and you grab that horizontal pass from the beginning and you're gonna bring it out and over each leg. Then you find just your top hem and you slide it up to your baby's neck and that pins everything in place. That's a pocket wrap cross carry in a two-way stretch wrap with a newborn baby. Thanks for watching. Comment below with any questions you've got or any requests for any more videos. See you soon.